Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of What You're Reading. People ask me all the time as a world celebrated, world renowned uh, <clears throat> comic book writer. Uh, what, what do I read? What do I read for entertainment? What do I read for information? What do I read when I'm not writing? And uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I love this one. It's uh, the most recent uh, chapter in the life of Nexus, the great superhero, great space traveling uh, Avenger. Uh, it's called Nexus Scourge. It was available through a crowdfunding campaign. I'm sure it's available in demand somewhere. Or you can pay ridiculously high collector prices on eBay. Uh, but that's on you because you missed this. you got to follow Mike Barron's career. Uh, because uh, he's producing some amazing stuff. And this is top of the heap, top of the charts, cream of the crop. This is pure Mike Barron, assisted expertly by Kelsey Shannon. Um, I uh, routinely, uh, routinely embarrass uh, Mike Barron <laughs> each time we meet with my praise for Nexus. Back in the 80s, let me talk about Alan Moore. You can talk about Frank Miller. But everybody in the business knew, all the insiders, Mike Barron and Nexus were the book to beat. They were the pinnacle, um, the high bar. And uh, Nexus was just a, a, a terrific comic, a terrific comic book character, and it kind of led the way toward uh, more cinematic storytelling, more thoughtful storytelling. Uh, Mike broke all of the usual superhero tropes to tell a you know terrific series of of cosmic adventures, and you know Nexus became you know enormously popular, but unfortunately you know faded away for a while with the fortunes of First Comics, which uh, you know published it until they you know went out of business. But forget all that, you know Mike's independently producing uh, Nexus Comics uh, on, a, on a fairly regular basis. And this one, this one's just awesome. Uh, it's told with Mike's breathtaking economy. There's not a wasted panel. There's not a wasted word in the story. And the story is epic. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a sentient space-borne virus that's traveling through the universe universe and it's it's wiping out whole civilizations it's consuming planets you know uh entire systems are vanishing and nexus nexus's uh home planet wylam is uh is in the crosshairs uh but nexus is out there trying to cobble together uh an alliance of you know characters we've seen before in the series uh, gormando appears gnosis uh you know judah maccabee has a cameo even Clone Zone appears. Um, so it's it's like all of these great Nexus characters, his whole ensemble cast is is brought in for this adventure. And uh, it, it just totally, totally kicks ass. This image is not from it. I had a hard time finding images for this. Um, and I didn't want to destroy my copy by bending it to put it in the scanner. Anyway... It's, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a beautifully packaged hardcover graphic novel, and uh, it's got everything you would want in a Nexus adventure. Uh, Mike obviously you know, has a passion. He has a, these characters live in his mind and his heart, and no one write, could possibly write them the way he does. And, and Kelsey uh, Shannon, you know, Kelsey always brings it, but he really brings it on this one. Uh, the storytelling is top notch. Like I said, you know, Mike really was the first guy to bring comics back to the sort of cinematic st storytelling style that they they knew at their peak. You know, under um, you know the kind of stuff that Joe Kubert and, and Harvey Kurtzman and, and guys like that did, Alex Toth, and really Mike brings the Mike and and Steve Rude really brought it back uh, instead of the yak 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 kind of comics that we had throughout the seventies, and it was a game changer. And uh, this is a great example of the character. I can't recommend it highly enough. I haven't enjoyed a comic like this seriously in the longest time. I mean, you know, uh, disclaimer, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Mike and everything else, but uh, that's got nothing to do with it. This is just a fantastic comic. So if you can seek it out.
uh, one day I hope they, they publish like a big oversized omnibus of all of these independent Nexus projects that Mike has worked on. He's doing terrific work in, in well, he's always done terrific work, but you know, seeing him untethered to a publisher uh, or the demands of a, uh, you know, entertainment company or whatever, and just seeing him just do, just do his thing the way he wants to do it. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to behold. So that's it for me. I'll keep reading. You keep listening and watching and I'll see you down the road.